According to Professor Michael Quay, the immediate past Speaker of Parliament, the power of the executive is so much that it determines the seating arrangement in Parliament. How can this be? The separation of powers will take the ha hands of the executive from Parliament completely. It is our position that if a Parliament, a member of Parliament is appointed as a minister or accepts any other appointment by the President, then he must resign his seat before taking up the appointment. People seek to become public officers, people who seek to become public officers must choose to either become part of the legislator or the executive to avoid conflicts of interest. Our third point is the Attorney General. Amend Article 88. As, as Article 88 of the Constitution be amend, should be amended to separate the Attorney General from the Minister of Justice, or more specifically, the Attorney General must not be a Minister of State, nor a member of the government. We believe that making the Attorney General a Minister of State compromises his or her ability to fight and prosecute political corruption cases, for example. The failure of the Special Prosecutor's Office and its lack of independence is clear to all of us now. What we need to fight political corruption effectively is the immediate establishment of an independent Public Prosecutor's Office, separate from the Minister of Justice. This is the only way to realistically fight corruption. So we are calling for a truly independent attorney general, that is an independent public prosecutor, whose budgets will be sanctioned by parliament without any ministerial interference. It is evident from our past experience that it will be fruitless to leave the fight against corruption in the hands of an elected government and its appointees. For this reason, we propose that the Independent Public Prosecutor, IPP, should be elected directly by the people to check the government against political corruption. The People's Prosecutor will be elected on a different electoral cycle, preferably during the midterm of an elected government. The Independent Public Prosecutor will be given all the vast prosecutorial powers that with guaranteed tenure of office, independence, and adequate funding directly from parliament to go after corrupt government officials. The government's own lawyer then will be the Minister of Justice under this proposal. Can we imagine if someone like Martin Amidu got elected and had direct funding from parliament to do his work without any ministerial interference? Our next point is the public declaration of assets. Amend Article 2861 and 2863. On one of your last two uh, issues. Yes. A minute. I'm sorry. Yeah, I have a minute to go. That is so. Okay. So public declaration of assets. Um, we continue to hide a, a declaration of assets the documents for the declaration of assets in an envelope. We put it in an envelope, it's sealed, and it's presented. We are saying that the, every uh, public official, anybody who is uh, appointed into uh, public office, must openly declare their assets. It must be published, and the public must have access to it, so that we know uh, how their assets are. We can compare when they are out of office or when they are going out of office. 